In this map suite, NBC Edition Sample App Walkthrough, we want to show you how you can use Bing Maps with uh, uh, Map Suite. As you can see here, we've got a sample where we can zoom around and pan in accordingly, and we got Bing Maps as our background map. Additionally, we got some different buttons over here that allow us to toggle between the different types of maps that Bing supports, such as aerial, hybrid, and just your standard road. To see how we set all this up, let's dig right into the code. Uh, this sample really doesn't have any controller source, so we're going to step or skip straight to the view source. In this view source, we've got a couple sections I want to go over. First one is just where we're setting up the map, um, where it's its size and how much of the page it's going to take, setting the background color. And then the more interesting stuff is down here below, where we're setting the current extent, the map unit, and then adding the overlay. One thing to be aware of as you're dealing with Bing Maps is that it is in a projection called uh, Web Mercator, or some also people call it Spherical Mercator. And so when you're dealing with that, you want to work in that coordinate system. So you need to also tell the map uh, where you want it to zoom into in that coordinate system. So these values may look very different than some of the ones you've worked with, with say longitude and latitude values. Another important thing to remember is that you should set your map unit to meter. Since Mercator projection is based on meters, your map unit needs to be the same in order for things to work properly. And finally, we just uh, add the Bing map overlay to the custom overlays collection with this line of code here and set the, uh, the map type to the normal road. The next part I'd like to show you is how you can switch between the different types of maps that Bing supports, such as aerial, physical, and road. And the way we've done that is we just have some standard buttons here on our web page. And if we scroll over here to the right, you can see on the on click event of these buttons, we are calling a map one dot set current background map type. And we're passing in the type of map that we would like to switch to. Now this is a pure JavaScript that's happening here on the client side and map suite MVC web edition um, exposes some JavaScript APIs that allow you to do this all client side. Um, if you're not familiar with what is available um, with the MVC Web Edition uh, from a JavaScript perspective, I'd invite you to take a look at the, uh, the JavaScript reference. And this is available both on the wiki and also um, if you look in, on, in the folder that you get with the evaluation uh, download, it will be there as well. And you can see all the different methods that are accessible to you on the client side and through JavaScript. I hope this uh, walkthrough has been helpful, but uh, feel free to contact us if you have any questions or post them on our discussion forums at thinkgeo.com forums. And thanks for watching.